All right, welcome back. So on this course or trail, we are going to learn and get started with Salesforce mobile app. All right, so first things first, let's download and log in to the Salesforce mobile app. That's the get started part, which actually you don't see on this trail but we are going to go through uh, together so you can actually log in to the Salesforce mobile app using your playground, your Trailhead playground account. Okay, let's go ahead and do that. I'm gonna click my hands on orgs here. And actually, let's go back so we don't lose this trail. I'm gonna click here and open on a new tab. Now, I'm going to log in. So what I'm going to do is to re reset my password. Why? Because your trail Trailhead Playground, you don't know your password by default, right? Because you just click on it and it's just launch the playground for you. But what is the password? So to know the password, you have to set it or reset it. So log in to your playground. Yeah, why don't you follow along? Log into your own playground right now. And once logged in, click on the gear icon here to go to setup. And we are going to go to users. Search here under home on the setup users. And click on users. And click on your username here and hit the reset password button, okay? Okay, we are going to reset. So a new password is sent there, right? So I'm gonna open my email <clears throat> on another window. It's gonna look like this. So I'm gonna hit the hit this link to reset the password and set your password there okay finally i'm going to save that so that is how you reset your password right so after you reset your password you can download the Salesforce app if you're using a, an Android phone um, go to Google App Store or if you're using Apple go to um, Apple Store or App Store Google Play Store or App Store so I'm gonna show you um, the Salesforce app here this is the Salesforce app you see this Salesforce app and I'm going to launch it once you download it you can launch it and you need to log in here okay so this is Joshua's account uh, he he was logged in because he is going through the same trail as we are right now so I'm going to change his account here and add an account it's going to be blacked out on my screen because it's a secure password so I'm going to put in my username I'm gonna drag this drag this to the left what is my username so I'm gonna go back to users again here so this long thing is my username student at resourceful dash panda dash adxdhs dot com. So I need to type that on my login. Okay, so student oh, let me show you my screen on the phone is blacked out because it's a login screen, it's a security thing. 
but I'm going to type my username which is student at resourceful panda student allow access there we have it now it's not blacked out anymore so there you have it so you can see this is the navigation menu and you can hit more here to see more objects so this is the default mobile phone navigation once you've downloaded so please go and follow along and make sure you can log in to your mobile app um, your Salesforce mobile app let me go to other let me go you can even see schools there right from our previous example there and okay so that's the first step download the app and log in to the app make sure you're successfully logged in okay so now we are back to the trail and i'm gonna close my cast for now so what is the salesforce mobile app what can it do so you have the power of salesforce mobile app um, on your fingertips so you don't have to create your own app so you can customize the mobile app however you like it do they have any picture here no not yet so the power is um, you can pretty much customize anything on the mobile app so it's kind of abstract we we will see it together as we go through the the trail for this mobile application okay so what is the magic of metadata it means whatever changes you make on here on any object on the desktop computer experience it will show on the mobile app all right so that is the magic of the metadata it will make more sense when you actually see it with your own eyes on the next trail so mobile is different that is the experience so for example on the desktop experience here um, if i go back to this tab probably and i go to i go to accounts for example and this one see you see all this this thing going on also on the details page you see a lot of a lot of information right a lot of fields so on the mobile apps you can just choose um, the important fields to show so that it will look more clean and it will load more faster it'll help the user way more all right that makes sense and that's pretty much it so on this uh, particular mobile trail um, the trailhead is um, given ex an example of a broker which is a real estate agent um, wanting to sell houses that's pretty simple right so uh, broker or real estate agents wanting to sell houses so dream house reality is a thriving real estate business what is real estate it's a business of selling houses selling houses you have a house right so you don't you know what it means so with 75 brokers what is brokers brokers are the people who are selling the house and those brokers are busy they are constantly on the go whether they are meeting with buyers, people who wants to buy the house, showing properties. Properties are the houses. It's called properties. Houses, lands, buildings. Or preparing for open house. What is open house? Open house is where the house is open for anybody to see the inside of the house. So it's got to be clean. It has to be nice and tidy and, and staged and people can see it and fall in love with the house all right so d'angelo um, salesforce admin for dream house heard about the salesforce mobile app and he thinks it can help the brokers stay productive when they are out 
in the field. So the best use case of the mobile app is for people or users who are out of the office. They are on the road, on on a house, on an open house, or or driving maybe like Uber or Lyft. Do you know Uber and Lyft, right? The uh, the ride sharing app. They are always on the go. So we can also use Salesforce app to make those kinds of business. Um, cases or scenario so all throughout these um, trails we are going to go along with the examples from Salesforce which is selling houses so it's more it's more a bit more complex but it's simple enough for us to follow along I want you guys to start learning business use cases we were using the student and teacher example but with the, for the mobile example, it makes more sense for the selling houses example. Because uh, schools and teachers and students, they, they have a building and they just sit on, the, on one organization, one place. So it doesn't make more sense to use a mobile app. But um, for selling houses, people, the realtor goes from house to house to house to another house and another house and meet lots and lots of people, right, wanting to buy the house. So let's go with the example that Salesforce provides the trailhead, all right? So this is the steps, Got uh, get the mobile app and then also make sure you can log in by following the steps we, we went through just now. And let's do the quiz, okay? Why should you take time to customize the Salesforce app? Why? What's the point, right? Um, it's a mobile security requirement. It can significantly improve the experience. I think that's it. It makes it easier to train No, You shouldn't customize. We should, right? If so this is the answer why because we want the users to be able to use salesforce easily easier faster with 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 less fields and less clutter less confusing things on their small phone screen if you if you want to download the salesforce for ios what is ios this is the 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 ios is the the Apple operating system for your iPhone or iPod. Where do you go? App Store. This is for Android, which 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 I have, and I just show you on how to open it on Android. The Salesforce app connects to which environment by default? So by default, it connects to a production org. All right. So that's the quiz. Let's check it and get our 100 points. And there we go. So I'll see you on the next unit. <laughs>